this is MJ and welcome to my Max Payne 3 Firefight Anatomy where I will be playing the game on hard difficulty and uh, instead of a regular walkthrough where you just watch the person play the game without uh, explaining their uh, reasoning I will break down for you each major uh, gunfight and explain to you why it is I do what I do in uh, my, uh, my mythology so that hopefully by the end of this video series you would have uh, picked up something along the way and to improve your A game so without further ado, I present to you Max Payne 3 Firefight Anatomy. This place is great, really comfortable. Just gonna get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. said it was a long time ago let it go seriously Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right, it wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life. Just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. 
some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seemed to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. You just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though, a big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local businessman, built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second, and now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. You got the floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about, trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Welcome back. 
So in each video, I'm going to try to give you guys the, the most relevant and pertinent tips at the very beginning. First lesson of today is a little tactic called uh, slicing the pie. It's used by snipers. Uh, you know when uh, when they're trying to shoot somebody, they're not right out the window going like this, peeking out because then you're fair game for this guy, you're fair game for that guy. What you want to do is uh, limit this guy's ability, this dude. Limit his ability to get a shot at you while you aim at this dude just by doing this. So you can aim at him, but his body can't. So these crooks are uh, just local gang members. They're not uh, trained properly. So this guy failed to protect his buddy. He's just hiding in the back. Scared shitless, I presume. That was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. Nice work. Hey, you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Fica tranquilo. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Where you got him? So this is a Max Paint 3. It's running on a... It's running on a Rockstar's Rage Engine. And watch this. See him stumble? He's still alive. Um, what it is, is once they get hit, uh, a third party software known as uh, Natural Motions Euphoria. Natural Motions Euphoria. I don't know if it's an engine, but it, it kicks in. And what it is, is a, it's a self-preservation protocol. Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. I had to keep moving. And what that does is when you hit them, uh, they are still going to try to maintain their natural state before the pre canned animations kick in, before the ragdoll kicks in. They're going to try to like stay upright or to try to prevent whatever it is that's happening to them. So when you shoot them, they're going to like stumble, but they're going to try to get back on their feet. And while that happens, their accuracy drops to shit. So you can take advantage of that. And for example, if there's three of them and you tag the first guy, but he's not dead yet, you can ignore him and aim for the next dude. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive. Almost as much as I did. Now this is the toughest battle in this level so far because, uh, just because of the sheer number of them. What you don't want to do is do this. Because they're all going to be gunning for you. Uh, like I say, slice the pie. And watch both sides because they're going to flank you. They weren't far ahead. Once I opened the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. So you may wonder why I know uh, all these things already. I've been playing this uh, first level over and over again. 
these are literally my first baby steps into YouTube uh, uploading. So uh, this level is basically a tutorial anyways. Parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? And so was the next level. But if you really want to see me uh, get tested to, uh, to the limit, then that's going to uh, begin when they start wearing body armor, when they start carrying submachine guns. And from the third level onwards, it's all going to be blind. I uh, last played this two years ago when it first came out. So uh, we'll see how I do then when uh, everything's uh, all blurry in my head. So I'm playing this on the PC, but everything that I say should also apply to uh, consoles. The only thing is that um, you're going to see me take uh, more risks, like standing in the open and just shooting them like this. But if you're playing on consoles, you really have to take cover because uh, your accuracy isn't going to be as uh, as good. Not due to lack of skill, but because of the Rodrigo was in the van. Maybe the gamepad is just a little, not as precise as the mouse and uh, keyboard. And I'm just going to keep on keep this running until the next. Uh, game segment but this is the end for the first video i hope you guys like it i hope you stick around for the remainder of the series i'm gonna hope to play this all the way through and uh hit that subscribe button if you like what you see you're okay you're okay yeah come on get up come on get up Come with me. Just come. On. It's okay. Just stay right here. Hey, vocês aí? Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Chama uma ambulância! Oh, me ajuda! Oh, fuck! Você fez bem, Max! Você diz isso! Não se olhe tão bom! Ei, o que poderia ser melhor, hein? Os bons caras estão reunidos e os comandos de sombra estão mortos! Eu acho! Então, quem é esse cara? Eu não sei. Um tipo de cop. Diferente branca da polícia. Não Ufa, mas normal cops. I don't know about this stuff, politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. So is ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Max. 
Sal, though I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. Saúde. <laughs> 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 I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slump. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? Now what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub. Listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me and me, guy. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, 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 my oh, nigga! Oh, 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 Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one.
Alright guys, hope you like the first video, I will see you on the next one. Be safe.